Today, we are going to talk about the topic, God is bigger than your problems. As we go through life, we inevitably face various challenges, from small inconveniences to seemingly insurmountable problems. But what we need to remember, and cling to, is the undeniable truth that, no matter how large those problems may seem, our God is always greater. Our perception often amplifies the challenges before us. But when we look at them through the lens of God's sovereignty and power, they shrink in comparison. Let's start by reflecting on the words of the prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 to 31, the passage tells us, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. This scripture reminds us that the creator of all things, the one who laid the foundations of the universe, does not grow tired. His strength is never depleted. His wisdom is infinite. Compared to him, our problems, no matter how overwhelming they may seem, are minuscule. When we trust in him, when we wait upon him, he renews our strength. He lifts us up, so we can soar on wings like eagles. We run and do not grow weary, we walk, and are not faint. God's power is unmatched, and when we rely on him, we tap into that limitless strength. This assurance of God's strength and presence is reiterated in the Psalms. In Psalm 46 verse 1, it is written, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Notice the use of ever-present. God is not a distant deity, aloof and detached from our struggles. He is right there in the midst of the chaos, offering His refuge and strength. When the world around us feels like it's crumbling, when everything seems out of control, He remains steadfast, our unshakable foundation. The psalmist continues, Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, this is not a denial of the reality of trouble, it's an acknowledgement that, even in the gravest of circumstances, we do not need to be afraid, because God is with us. Jesus himself addressed this in the Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 33, where he says, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus never promised a life without difficulty. In fact, he plainly states that trials are a given, but he doesn't leave us in despair. Instead, he provides the ultimate assurance, I have overcome the world. The one we follow has already won the victory. Our troubles, no matter how real, are not the final word. They are temporary, but his triumph is eternal. And here is where I want to add my personal reflection, faith is seeing God when you are surrounded by problems. It's not just about overcoming the obstacles before us, but about shifting our gaze upwards to the one who holds the world in his hands. Faith doesn't deny the existence of problems rather. It acknowledges them while choosing to trust in the God who is bigger than them. When we focus on our problems, they grow. But when we focus on God, our perspective changes, and we realize that nothing is too difficult for him. The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This passage gives us practical steps for living out our faith in times of trouble. Instead of allowing anxiety to consume us, we are invited to bring everything our fears, our worries, our uncertainties before God in prayer. And when we do so, His peace, a peace that surpasses all human comprehension, will guard us. This peace doesn't come from the absence of problems, but from the presence of God amidst them. It guards our hearts and minds, keeping us steady in the face of the storm. One of the most profound promises found in Scripture is in Psalm 30 verse 5, which says, For his anger lasts only a moment, 
but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. This verse paints a beautiful picture of hope and restoration. God's discipline or the trials he allows are momentary. They are for a season, meant to refine us, to draw us closer to him. But his grace, his favor, is for a lifetime. Even in the darkest night of our soul, when it feels like the tears will never stop, we can hold on to the promise that morning is coming. Joy is on its way. Our weeping is temporary, but his joy is eternal. This leads us to another critical point. Psalm 30 reminds us that God's discipline is brief, but his grace is forever. In the same way, our problems may seem overwhelming in the moment, but they are fleeting in comparison to the eternal grace of God. His mercy endures forever, and his love never fails. The trials of this life, no matter how intense, are temporary. But the grace favor and joy that come from God are eternal and far outweigh any suffering we might endure. In conclusion, we often make the mistake of focusing too much on our problems, allowing them to overshadow everything else. We magnify them in our minds and diminish the greatness of our God. But true faith does the opposite. Faith magnifies God, and in doing so, puts our problems in their proper perspective. We are reminded over and over in Scripture that God is bigger than your problems. He is with you, strengthening you, guiding you, and He has already overcome the world. As we place our trust in Him, we will find the strength to endure and the joy.